Wine and Gossip Wednesday. Oh, hey! Didn't see you there. How are you guys doing on this fine Wednesday evening? It's raining, so we're going to have some fun in here tonight. Grab your cigars. I have a full box of Cubans over here, so you know I'm going to be okay. I'm rolling. I'm rolling high class. Grab your wine. Uh, we got some. We have some strawberry tonight. Strawberry wine. Uh, that's good stuff. Nice and cold. Chill, semi-sweet. Just the way I like it. All right, guys. Let's look at the local news. Two men were arrested in St. Joseph, Missouri, Saturday, after law enforcement officers said they found illegal drugs in a bag labeled, Bag Full of Drugs. The men were pulled over by a state trooper for allegedly speeding 25 miles over the limit. St. Joseph, Missouri, K-9 deputies recently assisted FHP on a traffic stop on I-10, where a large amount of narcotics was discovered, note to self, do not traffic your illegal narcotics in bags labeled bag full of drugs. Our canines can read. <laughs> I think I found something, guys. Who do you think made the spotlight for wine and Gossip Wednesday? Rodney King beating camera up for auction. Starting bid, $225,000. The camera used to videotape LAPD officers beating Rodney King is about to go up for sale to the public, but this piece of history is going to cost you six figures. Auction house Nate D. Sanders will put the original Sony camera up on the auction block this Thursday, and the opening bid is set at $225,000, which means they expect it to fetch way more than that. Definitely not worth. $25,000. George, George Holiday was the one holding the camera and filming it. Um, March 3rd, 1991. If you can remember 1991 because, well, I guess I can. I can remember being in the, in the news. When he shot the horrific scene from his apartment balcony in LA, what he captured eventually set off the 1992 L.A. riots. After the four white cops involved were acquitted in the criminal trial, Holiday referenced the significance of his camera and how it's more relevant today than ever, saying, I hope this video camera inspires people to use their power to record events that they find troubling. Don't be afraid to use it. It happened in 1991. Um, even back then they said it wasn't an isolated incident and the only difference, the only difference was it got on video. <laughs> it's unclear if the original videotape of the Rodney beating is included in the auction piece. I was wondering that. I was like, they're going to include, include the, um, the, the beating because that would be very weird. I wouldn't think they would. Um, let's see. But Holiday has said that the people to this day will seek him out to obtain and use it. It was most recently featured in a Netflix documentary about the riots. Although King wasn't victorious in criminal court, he won on the civil lawsuit in 1994, with the jury finding the city of Los Angeles liable for his injuries and awarding him nearly $4 million. He died in a 2012 accidental drowning, which I didn't know that. Probably. So what do you guys think about that camera being in an auction? Do you think that it should have been destroyed? Do you think that when they sell it, that, 
that maybe the money should go to a charity? I don't even really, I don't know, I think selling it's kind of stupid, especially for that much money. I'm thinking that's crazy, but I guess they have sold uh, grilled cheese sandwich that looked like Jesus before on eBay, so who knows? Hi, you know what time it is. Time to drink a little wine. That was mighty fine and mighty tasty. Yum. Alright guys, well I think that concludes my wine and gossip Wednesday. So, um, it's raining still. So it's gonna be lovely evening. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. I hope you guys enjoy your evening and thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. And I did reach my 50 subscribers. I was so happy. Thank you so much, guys. I do appreciate it. It's so much fun for me. And I enjoy my YouTube community. I really do. I enjoy you guys. And if you have any ideas, anything that you want me to go look at in Missouri, don't be afraid to comment and ask or message me. If you want me to go look at a place or um, if you have an idea for a Gossip Wednesday, don't hesitate to message me. I would love to hear from you, honestly. Love this. This is, this is something I look forward to every week. I work so hard and uh, something fun for you guys. So I really do appreciate it and I love it. So, all right. I will talk to you probably. I might take a break tomorrow. So, um, I will see you guys Friday. So, have a good night. Bye.